Vestibular disease in dogs refers to any disturbance in a dog's vestibular system. The vestibular system is part of the nervous system responsible for maintaining balance and coordination. Also known as the balance system, it is what helps your pet stay upright and control body movements. When the vestibular system is not working, it causes symptoms such as a wobbly, drunken walk, leaning, falling, or rolling to one side, abnormal eye movements, and abnormal eye positions. The vestibular system is made up of two parts. The peripheral vestibular system consists of the inner ear and nerves traveling from the ear to the brain. Disorders that affect the peripheral vestibular system include problems like inner ear infections, ear tumors and polyps, underactive thyroid, head or ear injuries, and idiopathic or old dog vestibular syndrome. Idiopathic or old dog vestibular syndrome is a common form of peripheral vestibular disease. Idiopathic means there is no known cause that can be identified even with advanced diagnostic testing. It typically happens in older dogs and comes on suddenly. Though signs may be quite severe, they often improve significantly without any specific intervention after a few days. The central vestibular system is made up of the back part of the brain, the medulla oblongata, and the cerebellum. Some common causes of central vestibular disease include diseases such as brainstem tumors and strokes, inflammation and infections in the brainstem, and metronidazole toxicity. Both peripheral and central vestibular disease can cause loss of balance, a head tilt, nystagmus, which is abnormal eye movement, and strabismus, which is abnormal eye position. Conditions that affect the central vestibular system are generally much more severe and harder to treat than those that affect the peripheral vestibular system. Symptoms that suggest central vestibular disease include vertical nystagmus, which is involuntary up and down darting of the eyes, hypermetria, very high stepping gait, a wide base stance, truncal sway, which is swaying of the body at a standstill, and postural reaction deficits, which is lack of responses that help maintain an upright position. Whether the problem is in the peripheral vestibular system versus the central vestibular system determines the list of possible causes, diagnostics performed, treatment selected, and prognosis. Sometimes neurologists can tell the difference and even have a pretty good idea of what's causing vestibular disease from the neurological examination alone. However, an accurate diagnosis is only achieved through advanced diagnostic testing. Based on exam findings, such as blood and urine tests, blood pressure measurement, chest x-rays, ear cultures and cytology, MRI of the brain, and cerebrospinal fluid analysis are often performed to reach a definitive diagnosis. MRI is the best way to see what's going on within the vestibular system. Although a CT scan is an excellent imaging modality to evaluate the structures of the ear, it is not a great test to evaluate the back portion of the brain where the central vestibular system is located because of an artifact called beam hardening. Possible treatment options depend on the reason for the vestibular disease, so it's extremely important to work with a veterinary neurologist to find the cause. If after a thorough investigation, your dog's vestibular disease is diagnosed as idiopathic, supportive care and treatments aimed at reducing nausea are used until the condition resolves itself within a few weeks. On the other hand, if your dog's balance problem is found to be secondary to another disease, the primary ailment must be treated in order for the vestibular symptoms to resolve. Vestibular disease in dogs can be very distressing to both the pet and the pet parent. So achieving a diagnosis and initiating treatment in a timely manner is essential.